Welcome to Outback Diecast. All right, in this video, I'm going to attempt to make Spectraflame paint. Period. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it and how I learned to do it recently. As I've made a few different colors already and it's turning out great. First of all, I'm using actual clear coat. This is 2K Auto Clear Coat Universal by Upol. It does take an activator, but you're not going to want to put the activator in until you're ready to actually paint it. So I'm going to use a dropper and a solo cup. And I'm going to go ahead and get out, oh, probably 20 mils. Now I did shake up the gallon of clear coat very well first. You always want to shake it up so you get your solids off the bottom and mixed in very well. Okay, we're going to get a little bit more. I'm trying to keep this in camera. You can see exactly what I'm doing here. Now I've got a little jar, once we're done with the process, I'm going to store it in. Okay, that's... But one more dropper. Okay, I'm going to close up the gallon of U-Pole. Always make sure when you're closing these up, if you get any on the cap or in the threads, you really want to clean it off because it can seal your lid and make it very difficult next time. Let's put the dropper over here out of the way. Okay, so this is about how much clear coat I'm going to use. I'm not sure, maybe, maybe a little over a half an ounce, maybe close to an ounce. And this is the color we're going to make. I'm going to be using the ink out of a pink, hot pink pen. Okay, to remove the ink from the pen, you're going to want to pull the, pull the ink cartridge out and using your same needle nose pliers you're going to want to just pop this off right here be careful I guess I probably should be wearing gloves hold on one second alrighty we're back now with a little bit more protection for the hands I made this mistake yesterday when I was making some purple and end up having to use acetone all over my hands to get the purple ink off okay, so you want to carefully pop this off comes off pretty easy see now your ink is in this little straw. I'm going to take the advice of one of our fellow customizers. I'm not, I can't remember the name right now, but I'll put it in at the end. But he blows the ink out of this. I'm going to take it a step further, and after I blow on it, I'm going to use the needle nose, and I'm going to try to pinch it all the way down and get all the ink out that I possibly can. Okay, I'm going to try to get this on camera. You can see it dripping in there right now. I've almost got all of it out. I'm going to go ahead and get this finished and come back to you. Okay, at this point, I have gotten out all the ink I possibly can by blowing through the straw. It's starting to blow air into the clear coat, which is giving off an awful odor. Now I'm going to pinch the straw all the way down. Try to get a few more remaining drops. There goes a little bit more. You can kind of see it building up in the straw. Alright, we've just about got out all we can. Yeah, and that's all we're going to get. I'm going to put the rest of it on the tip on the side of the cup. Alright, be very careful with this stuff because it will stain something. 
Okay. Next, we will take out one of our trusty stir sticks. I use a little wooden one, brand new, of course. And we will mix up this clear coat and this ink coloring. which the other guy who gave me this idea used, they really put out a whole lot of material. I guess it's the ink breaking down and coagulating with the clear. I don't know, but I had to strain it twice when I did it. Let's see if I can get you a better shot. See, that's, that's a nice, nice hot pink color right there. That would have looked really good on the Breast Cancer Awareness Painted Pink Challenges, which I did do two of. Alright, I think we're, we're pretty good on there. I wish I had another hot pink pen. I would probably put a second one in there just for added, added color. Okay. To strain it, I'm going to use one of these simple paint strainers. I'm not sure which micron it is, but I used it on another project. I was painting a 65 Mustang, but you can get these from Harbor Freight for really cheap. Uh, the other guy, he used pantyhose, which also seemed to work very well. But as I was saying earlier, it doesn't look like there's that many particles in with this ink, which is great. I'm going to have to keep track of which kinds I'm using because like I said the Bix I had to strain them twice it just had so many coagulated pieces of ink in it it, it would have never went through an airbrush but I'm gonna go ahead and put this down in a jar and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this on camera or not but I will try if I can't then I'll come back to you with it already in the jar oh one more thing I'm going to cut this across here to make it not so big and maybe knock the little bottle over. I think that will work best for you or me. Okay, so I'm back. This is going to be the little jar I'm going to store it in. And I'm going to attempt to get this hot pink Spectra Flame through this filter in this little jar. I don't believe I'm going to be able to do it on camera, as said earlier, but... Before I do this, I want to show you a couple of the results I've gotten. Actually, this morning, I painted two cars with the two colors I've made so far. One of them was a purple, and it came out a little light, but I really like it. The other one is a blue that I did, and I actually used two different pens. And it came out a lot darker and a lot better after about five or six coats. But here, it almost looks just like the Spectra Flame, the Redline Spectra Flame paint. Here it is. One of them was on a 68 Camaro. That's this one right here. It's not completely cured or dried yet, but as you can see, it came out pretty good. Very shiny. This is the purple. It's kind of hard to see the color in the light, but it, uh... I like the way it came out. I think it could have came out a little darker, but I, I, I am liking it. For homemade paint, I'm, I'm very happy with the results so far. Thank you, Diecast Show Customs. That was who I was trying to remember a while ago in my earlier part of this video, but I just could not remember it to save my life, and I apologize. But he is the one that gave me the idea to do this. I'm just kind of adding on to his work he has already done and showed in his video. Putting my own twist on it by using the Clear Coat Universal and a few other tips I've learned. 
Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. So, seeing as how this bottle had such a small hole in the top, and I did not have a small funnel that I could find, I ended up using the dropper and just dropping it through the mesh part on the filter. Which is working pretty good so far. It's just taking a little while, but that's fine. Just take your time. If you have a small funnel, it'll probably work so much better. So as you can see here, it is very hot pink. When I'm it done. filled up the bottle, and I am happy. This being my first video, if you would, please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like to see more informative videos, they're coming your way. Thanks again. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.